In this video, I'm going to show you how to count colored cells that have been counted that have been created by you manually. This is when you go through the cells in a document and you want to highlight some of a particular color and then you would go to the home tab and then you would um, simply hit the fill color and then you would color it green or whatever else. As opposed to the other, the other cells that I have here, which is uh, the 10 here, if you go to the home tab and you go to conditionally format and you go manage rules, you can see that this was conditionally formatted because the value is greater than 9 and obviously it's greater than 9 if it's 10. And the same thing goes for 6. If you go to the home tab and you go manage rules, you can see that um, it, it is uh, value is less than 7, so it turns red by conditional formatting. The rest of these cells have been manually colored by selecting the fill the fill hand or the fill on the on the home tab and the color has been entered. So you would be going through your document and highlighting certain rules. So what we're working with is is a custom function here. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in some sample colors here. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to the home tab. And I'm going to first put in the green because it's already there. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to put in um, the blue. And then I'm going to put in the yellow. And I'm going to, the last one I'm going to put in is the red. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to go and you're going to start equals count count color if, and that's the name of the function I'm using. Count color if, there we go. And the first thing is you select the cell that has the background color that you're interested in. And so I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to put a comma and then I'm going to select the whole range of cells that I'm trying to search for. And then I'm going to end the bracket. Okay, just looking at it, this before you we do it, we have one, two, three. We have three cells that are green, plus we have one that's custom or conditionally formatted. So we should probably get the, just the three from the um, from the manual coloring of the cells. And so we get three. Now, so let's do this again for the blue. Let's go equals count color if. And I'm going to select this color and I'm going to select the, put a comma in there. And then I'm going to select the range of cells. And then I'm going to end the bracket. And I get three, which is the accurate number. The same thing goes for um, for the next one. Equals count color. Count. And I select the yellow. I put the comma in there. And I select the range of cells that I'm trying to count off of. And I put the bracket in here. And it's good. Now, I, the other thing I'd like to point out is that you have to run this formula every time. So if we put in, for example, if we put in another yellow in this, in this fake place here, we go um, home and we select the yellow. And so it was four. And so you're thinking, well, then I'll, I just have to uh, go to the data tab and go refresh all. And it still remains four. But if I run the formula again, so if I go here and I, I start the formula again, I select the color, I go comma, I select the range of data. And I close the brackets. 
And so now that we have uh, that we have run the formula again, the count is accurate. So let's let's look at the code for this function. Okay, I try to name things so that you can understand what the code is doing. So the first thing we have is sample cell as a range, big area as a range, and it returns a number or a number that's long. So dim area is a era is a range of cells where B area is just one cell. Fill color is the fill color of the cell, and the color count is the number that we're counting of the cells. So the fill color equals our sample cell interior color for each B area cell in B area. So for each cell in our range, if the B area cell interior color equals fill color, then color count equals color count plus one. And if, then we go to the next uh, B, B area cell. So we go by cell and then we just keep adding up. And so when we're all done adding them up, the color count if equals the color count. So that is as easy as it is. I will, of course, include the code in the description of my video. That is how you're able to count the number of cells that are colored by you manually in an Excel sheet. Please subscribe.